in the week of the 2nd through the 8th of April, the first week of April 2018 is coming. And I'm back with your angel guidance to bring you light, to bring you understanding for this wonderful beginning of the month. Hello beautiful soul, my name is Maria and I want to welcome you to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in improving your health and growing your spirituality, I invite you to go to the subscribe button below so you will always get notifications whenever I post a new Reiki healing or a new angel guidance here in my channel. And for this week's guidance, I'm going to be using the Healing with the Angels Oracle cards. This is by Doreen Virtue and we have 44 cards in this deck. It's one of my favorite decks. The cards are very beautiful. The messages are very specific. So we're going to receive beautiful guidance for the beginning of April 2018. And as always, I invite you to just close your eyes for now and start connecting with me, with your angels and with the cards, asking them to surround us with their light, with their love, to choose the right cards for the week so we can receive the right message, so we can understand the energy of this week, so we can have a wonderful and blessed week with the angels. So the card for Monday and Tuesday is here, two cards as always. And now let's check for Wednesday and Thursday, continuing to shuffle and asking for their coming, for their presence, for their light, for their love to speak through these cards. Now Wednesday and Thursday is here. Now let's see for the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'll continue to shuffle and to ask them for the right guidance, for the right cards, the right message so we can understand what they're talking about, so it resonates with our heart, so it may make sense to you. Remember that if you are drawn to watch this video, it means you are meant to listen to this guidance, you're meant to listen to their words, to what they want you to understand for your weekend, for the whole week. And the card is already here for uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So let's check for Monday and Tuesday the first two cards that they chose. First one, oh, so beautiful, first one is forgiveness and this card is talking very strongly about forgiveness, about the importance of healing your heart, my dear. The angels are talking very strongly lately about the moon, about this cycle of the full moon of releasing, letting go, leaving the past behind in a great and wonderful and very effective way of doing that is by forgiving. So the angels are talking with you for the beginning of the week to start your month, to start your energy in this week with a beautiful and peaceful heart. When you forgive, my dear, you let go of negative feelings that are putting you down. You're not saying the other person is right. You're not saying that you are weak. You're simply telling yourself that you are what matters. That you are the most important person in this situation. And when you forgive, you simply detach from these negative feelings, from negative thoughts from memories. Let go, my dear, empty your heart and allow your heart to receive light, to receive healing from the angels. So you can let go and you can step into a new, a new phase of your life. You can open the doors of your life for new beginnings, for beautiful things to come your way. Because when you forgive, everything starts to be smoother and more peaceful. If you don't forgive, you get stuck. There is no other way. If you don't allow yourself to let go, to simply let go of whatever happened to you before, if you don't allow it, you will be stuck, my dear. 
you will be you will be sad from time to time you will be upset you will be depressed it's going to be very hard for you to move on with your life so choose forgiveness today choose yourself today choose your heart bring a little bit of compassion towards you and tell yourself that you matter that it is important for you to listen to your heart and to connect with the love that lives inside of you. This is your tool. This is your power. It is the love that you have that can break all these barriers, that can break all these attachments with your past. Because you're turning into love. You're coming back. You're returning to your heart. And you're allowing your heart to expand without the energy that is blocking you, without sadness, without hurt, without blame and shame. Okay, my dear. So remember to begin your week trying to forgive, asking your angels to come forward and heal your heart. How are you going to do that? Through meditation, my dear. Meditate towards opening your heart. Meditate towards bringing love to inside of you, towards yourself. Meditate towards bringing forgiveness to yourself and to others and to situations and to life, to God. How often do you blame God? How often do you blame your angels? You must forgive. You have to let go, my dear. The only work in this life is towards you, is towards your heart and towards what makes you happy. So think about yourself today and heal your heart. Meditate towards what's best for you, towards what's going to bring love to your heart, towards what's going to expand this love everywhere around you. Okay, so that's what they're asking you to the for the beginning of your week, Monday and Tuesday. Try to meditate on forgiveness, on allowing your heart to heal. He's telling me now, call upon Archangel Raphael. He can heal you. He can help you to forgive. Archangel Shamuel also. They can work both wonderfully on your heart on healing your heart and expanding this love that lives inside of you, showing you the love that lives inside of you, showing you that you are pure love. So remember, my dear, the beginning of your week, the work is towards yourself, is towards your heart, is towards letting go, releasing the past and moving forward into the light. Okay, so now let's see for Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> they chose music. Talking about forgiveness. Again, coming forward, moving forward towards the light. Music can help you heal wonderfully. Music can bring you healing. That's why there is music healing. That's why there is sound healing. If you resonate with music, bring this energy to you to heal your heart. Listen to the music that you truly enjoy. Listen to calming music. Listen to healing music. There's lots of options of this kind of energy here on YouTube. You just search for them. Healing music. Forgiveness music search for it and bring it to your heart play it in the background of your home in the background of your car while you are driving allow this energy to be flowing in in your direction into your heart but uplift your spirit uplift your energy through music through positive music, positive vibration, so you can release whatever is stuck inside of your heart and you can allow it to heal. Forgive, move forward, let go. Okay, my dear, so listen to more music throughout your week. Uplift your spirits, raise your vibration through music. 
It's very positive. It's wonderful the way music can heal, the way music can transform you. So choose the right music and heal your heart through music. It's going to make you deeply happy. And let me know how it was, what, which music, which songs did you choose? Okay, because I want to listen to them as well. <laughs> And now for the weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we got the beautiful manifestation card. So with this card, again, they have been talking so strongly about the moon. Full moon came. We're still releasing energy. We're still clearing. We're still letting go, following, moving towards manifestation, towards the new moon, towards new beginnings, towards a new life. So whenever you heal your heart, whenever you let go, whenever you allow yourself to step into the new, then the manifestation is going to happen. Everything you want is going to start to happen. There is no other way around. There is no other way to reach manifestations in your life. There is no other way to reach your dreams. The only way is towards releasing what's blocking you, is towards healing your heart, is towards, it's towards releasing the past, detaching from these energies. Okay? So try during the weekend to meditate again upon releasing your energy, clearing the blockages so you can move forward so you can manifest what you're asking for and know within your heart your angels are telling you now know within your heart that you will get there you will manifest what you've been asking for it's coming to you as long as you allow yourself to heal you allow yourself to step into this beautiful energy of your angels this beautiful light that is waiting for you to see it, open this new door of your path by allowing your heart to be there, allowing your heart to be in the new and detaching your heart from the past. The past do not longer serve you anymore. So let go and step into these new manifestations, into these synchronicities, into this beautiful achievement of positive things for your life. And this was our angel guidance for the week of the 2nd through the 8th of April 2018. I hope you enjoyed it, beautiful. So remember this week the energy is very strongly upon forgiveness, letting go and healing of your heart, healing of yourself, healing of your energy and stepping into the light. So remember to dedicate this week towards meditating, towards taking care of yourself, towards healing, inviting Archangel uh, Raphael and Samuel and work with them throughout the week. Be happy, enjoy, have fun, listen to music and know that you are guided, you are being pushed towards the best for you. Let me know in the comments below how was this reading for you, if it made sense to you, if it resonated with your heart. Let me know also how you've been working with your angels, how the energy of the full moon was for you. Let me know whatever you want to release, whatever you're telling your angels that you want to let go. I want to know more about you. I want to communicate with you. So comment below, okay? And if you're interested also in daily angel guidance and daily Reiki healing, you can always go to my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll leave the link in the description below. And as always, I will see you very soon again. Thank you so much for being here with me. I wish you a wonderful, blessed, and perfect week in the company of your angels always. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.